Hello and welcome to another Your Business Car Guy Corel tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about photo paint, specifically colorizing using the paint tool. Let's say you have a photograph and you want to use the effect of making it black and white, but then being able to add a little bit of color in a couple of areas, say the eyes or lips or the hair. Uh, this is that standard, that colorized look that we're all pretty familiar with. Here's a photo. This is actually a stock photo that I've purchased and I use, uh, have used in some different things. Uh, the first thing I want to do is make this grayscale so that we can then colorize it uh, for this tutorial. So what I need to do is go up here to image. I'm going to convert it and then I'm going to just take the default and say OK to that. You'll see that it switches over. Uh, you'll also notice that on the right all of the colors selections are gone and that's simply because it is a grayscale uh, so we need to change it back to RGB, red, green, blue, but it is still black and white. However, we now have our color selections back, which then allow us to select the color and paint it on. So in this case, this tutorial, I'm using the paint tool right here, and that brings up the custom art brush, which gives us our shape, size, uh, whether we want it to be normal, additive, subtractive, uh, transparency level and then also the feather level. What I want to do is make a nib that's going to work perfect for sort of picturing uh, a pen that you're just painting on a photograph. So it needs to be pretty small and pretty agile. I'm going to actually zoom in here so that we can see the area we're working on. So my nib size can't be too large. If I click on this and you know if it's up here that obviously is not going to work because I don't want to color the entire eye. I've got a highlighted bit. I've got the black part in the middle that I want to remain black uh, and then obviously I've got the, the whites on the side that need to remain as well. So it needs to be a size that is somewhat manageable. I'm going to choose five here. It's a little small but you know it gets you into the nooks and crannies. Um, let me show you the effect here depending on your level of transparency. This is the key to this whole process. If my transparency is say 33 and I choose, you know, I've got a green color that I want to use uh, and I just start painting, you can see this is in fact very green. However, it looks like it's been very painted on, which is not the effect we want at all. So we want to set this transparency at a very high level. I recommend something like 99, which sounds like you're going to get nothing at all, but each time you move you're going to be building up and you want to build up slowly so I'm going to zoom in a little closer here and so now I'm going to essentially start painting you'll see as though as nothing has happened at all well it is going to build up slowly and I'm moving around on purpose I don't want to build in one area uh, and then have it be you know something that looks like you've grabbed a crayon or a marker and have just sort of squished on your painting you want to have this to be something that looks correct even though it is going to be a black and white with green eyes um, we don't want it to look uh, you know too amateur so we're going to work our way slowly and build up slowly I am specifically avoiding the highlight area because that is white uh, now that could be you could remove that and then just add it back later some photographers will do that um, we're going to just avoid it with our paint tool so that we're not making the white highlight green as well um, the same thing goes for the middle, although you can paint over that a little bit. Uh, and the semi-highlight, the secondary highlight area, you'll notice here on the right, uh, we can add a little bit of color into that area as well. And so I build up as I go. And then I also recommend zooming out, kind of taking a preview, zoom back in. and slowly build your way up and the biggest thing with any of this colorizing and I'm going to be doing three or four videos to cover some different techniques the number one thing is to be very patient uh, it, none of this can be done in a one click slap some color on there and it's going to look great uh, it just doesn't work that way we have to go through it click by click work our way slowly adding color it's very much an interactive process where you are acting on your photograph just like you would uh, if you had a painting or a picture in front of you uh, and you were trying to color it in using pens or pencils something like that so I zoom back out okay 
and you can see that that's actually a pretty nice effect there. So here what I've done is I've slowly built up this green to create a colorized look. I want this to be maybe a little stronger. And, you know, obviously, uh, depending on the effect you want, uh, you can change the settings, right? You can go up and change the feathering, changing the size of the nib. You can even play with the shape of the nib. And I recommend, you know, really playing with some of those settings and trying it. Uh, so don't feel like, you know, you've got to find one way that kind of works and just sort of make it be your, I'm going to use this technique all the time. You really want to make sure you learn what the different amounts of feathering do. You want to learn what the different amounts of transparency do. And that way, whatever project you're working on, you're able to utilize the best solution for that. Um, and, you know, it's that's why we're doing all these videos, is so you can get the idea from the different techniques and then see what that gives you. So here we go. I zoom back out. And that's a fairly nice effect. Now, obviously, I could go on and color the other eye, you know, whatever else we needed to do. But I think this gives you the idea of using the paint tool to perform the colorizing effect. Thanks again for watching this Your Business Card Guy tutorial. Today, we talked about colorizing using the paint tool. Don't forget to check us out online at www.yourbusinesscardguy.com.